Today guys, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, HCSRO4 ultrasonic sensor. It's a very handy little component that can be used in a lot of your electronics projects. So I built a simple circuit sort of to demonstrate uh, how it can be used and actually how uh, easy it is to put together. This actually is a, a close-up of the component. Uh, it has four pins. Uh, as you can see, there's a VCC, which is typically connected to 5 volts. There's a, a trigger pin and an echo pin, which is used to actually do the uh, sonar. Uh, it sends a signal out and measures the uh, distance or the response for it to come back. And then there's a ground pin. So pretty easy, just four pins. And uh, here is the circuit, actually, that I built. I'm going to show you a fritzing actual circuit diagram to explain more about how it's all set up. Essentially in the circuit I have two LEDs which is a red, a red LED and a green LED and a, a, a piezo buzzer connected to my Arduino and uh, a different here is the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, now it's set to detect uh, any object within five inches so I'm just gonna start moving my hand forward and you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen. So as my hand gets in range of the sensor you'll hear uh, the the LEDs the, uh, changes from green to red and you'll hear the buzzer go off. And it's fairly accurate. Now this is pretty very easy to configure. Uh, let's take a look at the code here. And as you see at the top of my program I have a range um, 5 inches. Let's go ahead and change that to probably 2 inches. Uh, I'm going to upload that code and we're going to see that change take effect. So now I should be even be able to move my hand even closer to the sensor before it goes off. So here we go. So that's pretty close. And then it goes off. Okay, so here essentially is the code for the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, you see at the top here we define uh, a few of the pins, the trigger pin on the uh, ultra ultrasonic sensor is connected to pin 2 of the Arduino. The echo pin is pin 3. Uh, the LED, green LED and red LED are pins 9 and 8 respectively. And the alarm is on pin 11. Here is the range sort of variable that we're configuring. This is the distance uh, that's allowed before the sensor sets off. So it's currently set to 2 inches. Um, in our setup function, we typically, uh, here is, uh, here's some of the boilerplate stuff that we do. We begin a serial connection at 9600 9, um, and we set some input modes for the trigger pin. That's an output. There's the echo pin, which is an input. And uh, we have the LED, of course, uh, the green and red as being outputs. Initially, we turn on the green LED uh, because everything is good to go and we turn the red LED off. In our loop function, um, this is some actually some boilerplate code uh, for the ultrasonic sensor. We first write the trigger pin, set that low, there's a small delay, and then we set it high. Um, and again, set it low. After that occurs, we take in or we take a look at that duration and uh, we use the pulse in function there to get when it drops from high to low and we do a conversion um, here in inches and centimeters. Uh, there's a couple of functions that does some calculations for us based on the time uh, between the uh, output and the change in the signal and those are below here. This section of the code here is where we check to see if the distance measured from any object is within a uh, you know our particular range and here uh, if inches is less than a range meaning if you're closer than the specified range this is where we would turn the green LED off turn the red LED on and sound the buzzer so we sound the buzzer using that tune function and uh, 
of course, if everything was okay and uh, the inches that we calculated was greater than the range, we would, of course, turn the LED, the green LED, back on, turn the red off, and uh, stop the buzzer from sounding. So this is the logical portion where we actually uh, figure out what to do when we calculate the range. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, that's a simple ultrasonic sensor. Very, very inexpensive. As I said, it can be purchased for under $5. And it's a very, uh, very cool addition to your electronics project. Uh, for instance, if you have a, a car, you could put it on there as a sensor to prevent your car. Uh, if it comes too close to a wall or an obstruction, you can stop the vehicle or do other types of sensing. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll have some more videos to come.